Well, it depends. Um, I think the answer for me is yes. A non-deterministic worldview does compromise God's sovereignty. Um, so for me personally, one very important aspect of religion is uh, divine providence, God's providential care for the world. And it's very important religiously because um, one wants to believe, even, we, even though we can't understand why evils occur, it's important for us to believe that um, God's hand is in all things and that God uh, directs everything that happens in the universe. It's a tremendous comfort to us, and I think that this is part of historical Christianity. So can we get that sort of divine sovereignty without theological determinism? I mean, famously, Molina tried in the 16th century, you know, we have Molinism, which is a, um, a kind of a brilliantly creative view. And uh, on that conception, God can, um, God can direct the universe with precision, despite the fact that God, uh, theological determinism is false. And um, that view has lots of technical problems, and I think in the end they're, um, they're decisive. And then maybe the main problem is this, that uh, for Molinism to be true, God would have to know uh, prior to the creation of free creatures what each free, free creature would do in any possible circumstance. And it doesn't seem as if there's any basis for, um, for that sort of knowledge. Uh, then an alternative is open theism, but I think open theism, which is the view that God doesn't have this kind of knowledge and so can't direct the universe with precision, um, I think that open theism can rescue a uh, fairly strong notion of divine providence, but one that's not strong enough for me. Right? So I think that uh, it's important, um, especially if divine providence is very significant for one religiously, uh, to um, defend the doctrine of theological determinism.